question I thought was actually a really good question was um, what would you say is one thing that able-bodied people take for granted that people with uh, spinal cord injuries really cannot? The way to think of it, or a way of thinking about it, um, especially for somebody like myself that's a quadriplegic and, and higher level spinal cord injuries, is you open your eyes in the morning. I'm laying in bed and just think of, all right, somebody's got to come in here. They've got to bathe me. They've got to put on each sock. They've got to put on your underwear. They've got to put on your pants. They brush your teeth. It's when, when you deal with a, a spinal cord injury, everything is about independence. So who is Travis Roy? Since October 20th of 1995, I have, I have been a quadriplegic. And in my, my very first game at Boston University, my very first shift, uh, I had an unfortunate accident where I uh, uh, fell headfirst into the, to the dashboard. I fell um, and just sort of fell to the ice. And uh, as it turned out, I, I broke two vertebrae in my neck, my, my fourth and fifth. Uh, cervical vertebrae in, in my neck. To this date, I mean, the, the Travis Wright Foundation, we do two things. One is we fund, uh, half the money goes towards research. And then secondly, what, what's really unique about the Travis Wright Foundation is we fund individual grants. And these individual grants are for wheelchairs, they're for voice activated computers, um, they're for simple home modifications, a ramp to get into a house, um, a, a new bed, uh, vehicle modifications. It's incredible, the technology and the adaptive equipment that's out there. By far the most requested was what percentage of every donation goes towards those grants and those research um, as opposed to like, you know, administrative costs? Overall, our expenses are about 10% of what we oh. bring in. So about 90, 90 cents on the dollar um, goes back to, to the cause. And, and that is, um, and, and that, I'm proud of that. And I wish it was a little bit lower. We're, I mean, we're always, yeah. we're pretty thrifty. I will say yeah. that. <laughs> we're always trying to keep our expenses down, always trying to, to, to cut corners to, keep keep things uh, down because that is very much on our mind and I and that is what um, that's how you separate yourself is making sure that the money that comes in does go back to the cause. Uh, the most important question is you know where do people go to donate um, and and how? There's several ways to, 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 to give to the foundation. One is to to go on online and to uh, uh, take note of some of the different events we, we, we run and um, and, and to partake or participate in one of those. Uh, for instance, we always like the, fun, the fundraisers where you provide a service. So uh, one of our wiffle ball teams, they, they had a truckload of Christmas trees delivered out in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. They had 350 Christmas trees, and they, I think they've almost sold them all. So, so you can either get involved in an event, or you can just go to Travis Wright Foundation, click on Donate, and, and, and make a donation. That's not nearly as fun. Right? And really, we'd yeah. like to get people. We don't want it to just be about you know, going online and pulling out your credit card. Yeah. We'd like to, to have it be a little bit more civic, a little bit more uh, involved um, or participating in, in some function of the foundation. And I want to see you guys at one of our events. So uh, exactly. come on out and say hello and get involved. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys. If you go to the description now below, you will see links to the Travis Roy Foundation, um, to their YouTube channel, to the videos that I've made in the past. Um, this has been an amazing experience. I thank you guys for giving me this opportunity. I thank you guys for, give, for, you, for giving me this opportunity. Absolutely. And uh, I will see you guys next time, okay? DFTBA.